Welcome back to Young Talent <laughs> Time, Katie. Yeah. Was it nice at the post office? Yeah, it was really good, actually. I talked to a man overseas. Did you? Yeah, it was really interesting. Really? I said, oh, yeah, um, I'm talking on television. He goes, oh, really, really? He was really excited because it was one o'clock where he was. Did you ask his name? No. Where was it where he was? <laughs> Finland. Whoa. Finland! Wow. Fantastic. Series one winners <laughs> received $250. Oh, that's this is a series, yeah. and you receive $250. And the series finals winners fi win $500. And the grand final winners each win $500 and $1,000 for the winner. No, the contestants on the grand final win $500 and $1,000 for the winner, plus a trip for two to Europe or the United States with the spirit of Australia Qantas. And, of course, all the monies for our prizes are given to us by our, by our sponsors, whom we love a lot, McDonald's. called Mac McDonald's. Can we <laughs> please have a, a polite round of applause for our dear sponsors because yeah. we love them a lot. And Jerry Grace, who's the boss of McDonald's and is a really nice bloke, you interested in this? Okay, we'll say hello to Jerry. Hi, Jerry. He, Hi, Jerry. He, he said that uh, he... I expect a Big Mac for enjoy... free. <laughs> no, he get nothing for free. Oh. The McDonald's Super Lunch, P.O. Box 2038, Richmond South 3121 is where you write to if you would like to join lunatics like these two yeah. here we at a lunch a at McDonald's. It's a lot of fun. And... and just put your name and address and your phone number and the song of your choice on the back for the team member of your choice. So you may want Katie Johnny to sing Lunch something to like, uh, no, uh, Katie, something like Volare. I've never heard of it, John. <laughs> OK. Anyway, we, Greg's giving us a cue to hurry up. Go for it. OK. Contestant number two is Anthony Ingleman. He's a comedian and Greg knows a bit about him. He's funny. He's 11 too. years oh, old he? from Victoria and he's going to do an impersonation of Groucho Marx. Great. Yay! Here he comes. <laughs> Groucho Marx is my name, and I make you laugh is my aim. So where we go with some ducky ducky jokes. Doctor, doctor, I can't get to sleep at night. We'll just lie on the end of the bed, and you'll soon drop off. <laughs> doctor, doctor, I think I need glasses. You certainly do, madam. This is a fish and chip shop. <laughs> Doctor, there's an invisible man in the waiting room. Well, tell him I can't see him right now. <laughs> and now, some knock-knock jokes that'll knock you right over. Knock-knock. Who's that? Amanda. Amanda who? Amanda fix the television. <laughs> Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in, stupid. <laughs> you know the game hide and seek? Well, my sister was so fat, so fat, she could only play seek. <laughs> and now a special cannibal joke with special translator, me. Trans translation, who was that lady I saw you with last night? Translation, that was no lady, that was my dinner. Son, you'll be late for school. I won't go, came the reply from the bedroom. Why not? The kids despise me. Their teachers hate me. I'll give you two good reasons why you should go. One, you're 41, and two, you're the headmaster. <laughs> the trouble is, said the entertainer to the psychiatrist, I can't sing dance or act. I can juggle or play a musical instrument. Quite frankly, doctor, I can't do anything. So why don't you give up show business? I can't. I'm a star. <laughs> Oh, that every
everybody at home would like to see the real face behind this very, very talented young 11-year-old comedian. Give us a look. Take the face off. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Engelman. <laughs> request to be for my grandmother this week. She's a great dame. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, you mean dame. She's a great dame. Yeah, 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 dame. But, but when I was just a pup, she used to call me carpenter. Carpenter? Yeah, oh, we, you know, I used to do little jobs around the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but of course, uh, grandma's getting a bit long in the tooth now, and she nearly always has a blocked nose. Do you mean? How does she smell? Awful. <laughs> well, this week's request letter is from Pe for Peggy Lyons of Rockdale in New South Wales. Peggy writes, Dear Johnny and team, my mum, Mrs Hilda Corrigan, will be 97 years young very soon. <laughs> she has always watched and loved your show, and I wondered if you could wish her a happy birthday and surprise her by letting Bevan to sing Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand, as it is a favourite song. Thank you and God bless you and the team for the joy and happiness you bring to others, especially to my darling mum. Oh, Reach out and touch. Yeah. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. Reach out. Share a problem. 